So we're counting the 49 days now of the Omer, the 49 days in between the Exodus during Passover and our receipt of the Torah at Mount Sinai on Shavuos. During 33 of those 49 days, we have the custom to observe certain signs of mourning, like not shaving, to remember the tragic deaths of thousands of the students of the great sage Rabbi Akiva. But that's not why we're counting 49 days. We're counting 49 days to remove ourselves day by day from that slave mentality of Egypt and day by day to get closer and to count with joy and anticipation towards Shavuos, the day we received the Torah, the day we became free to follow God's will rather than being enslaved to our baser desires. By counting each day, we also remember how important it is to be patient. If you want to develop a relationship with God, that's like developing a relationship with a person. It's not done in a day. It's done over the course of many days, weeks, months, years. And we also remember how important it is to be patient as a Jew. Think of how many hundreds of tear-stained years we had to patiently wait while we were denied access to pray at that beautiful wall behind me. And we remember how important it is to be patient in our interpersonal relationships. Yesterday I was golfing with my son here in Israel. Yes. There are golf courses in Israel. One more reason to move here, or at least come to visit as often as you can. So while we were playing, there was a very slow playing foursome in front of us. And I said to myself, I am not going to let this bother me. The fact that they're making cell phone calls and taking mulligans on the fairway, I don't care. I'm in Israel. I'm with my son. It's a beautiful day. I'm playing golf. I'm just going to let this wash over me like water off of a duck's back. And my reverie was interrupted suddenly by the shout of, Tuzuz, move! And I turned, and there was a fellow in the fairway adjoining mine, playing behind me, screaming at me to move, to hit my ball. So being the paragon of patience that I had decided to be for the day, I turned to him and very gently explained that there was a foursome in front of us, and that's why I wasn't able to hit. I didn't realize that because of the topography, they were lower than him, so he couldn't see them, so he didn't believe me. So he starts screaming at me, look, there's no one there, you look! At which point, patience went out the window, and I suggested to him where he ought to look, and the next thing you know, his playing partners were separating us from further hostilities or fisticuffs. And I was so upset that I let the slings and arrows of this knucklehead pierce my skin instead of ducking them and letting them fall helplessly to the ground. I blew that day's lesson of patience. And that's a shame. Because when you blow a day, it's gone. Time, not money, is our most precious resource. And that's what we're doing when we're counting those 49 days. Remembering how important it is to make every day count. If you're the same person at 30 that you were at 20, you've wasted 10 years. If at 40, you're still banging on the table and screaming and crying every time you don't get your way, just like you did when you were five years old, then you've lost 35 years. We have a custom during the counting of the Omer to remind each other, remind our friends and our relatives to count every day's number. And when we say to each other, did you count today? What we're really saying is, did you make today count?